Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make mother's milk tea. So if you're breastfeeding, this tea is excellent for bringing up your milk supply. When I think my milk supply is getting a little bit low, I will make myself a cup of this and drink it and by the next day it's back up to where I like it. So my milk supply has been varying a lot now that my daughter is sleeping almost always through the night. So I've noticed that it has dropped down a bit so I drink a cup of this almost every day to just make sure it stays up and I don't go dry. So I will link down below where I got all of these different herbs. I got some of them from Azure and some of them from Amazon. And both of those places have really high quality herbs. So here are the ingredients you'll need. Fennel. Fennel is the main herb in this that gets your milk supply up. Fennel is amazing for milk supply. And it's actually not something I thought of putting in tea because it's mostly for seasoning meats is what I've always used it for. So I was surprised that this is so good for that. Alfalfa. Alfalfa helps alleviate swelling and fluid retention, promotes a healthy urinary and digestive tract, also helps to promote milk flow. Raspberry leaf. Raspberry leaf is just all around an awesome herb for women's health. I used to take this when I was pregnant as just strengthening for my uterus, getting it ready to go through labor. Nettle. Nettle is rich in iron and vitamin C, which is important while you're breastfeeding. It aids in kidney function. It also supports milk flow. And then I also put in chamomile flowers, just because they taste good. This isn't in the main recipe, but I really like chamomile tea, so this is totally optional, but I like adding it. So then also you can add cinnamon and cloves to this if you want to change it up a little bit. I'm not going to add it this time, but that is totally a good option for changing it up. For supplies, you'll need a glass mason jar and some measuring spoons and some measuring cups and then a kettle to boil some water in. So first you're going to take your fennel seeds and you're going to measure out a half a cup and then pour it in your mason jar. And then red raspberry leaf, and we're also gonna measure out half a cup of this. And a quarter cup of nettle. A quarter cup of alfalfa. And a quarter cup of chamomile. Okay, I moved in because it started raining. But here we have our herbs that we added everything to. You're just gonna take and put a lid on it. And shake it up. Combine everything in in there that we added and it was all mixed up so now here I have another empty mason jar and I'm going to take two tablespoons of our herbs and put it in this one just a little bit in the bottom there and then I have some water that I boiled and I'm going to take this and add three cups of water to these herbs that's about three cups. So you just do two tablespoons of herbs for every three cups of water. And I can drink this in a whole day. I just make it and I add my honey and I drink it through the day. So now what I like to do is if I remember to make this the day before, I will just put a lid on this and I let it sit out overnight. And so it has a good strong steep and that brings out all the benefits of the herbs way better than if you did a short steep. But most of the time, I'm not that organized. So this can just steep for like half an hour and that's, that's fine too. Most of the time I do that. So I will come back after half an hour and strain them off and then it's ready to go. Okay, now that it's steeped for long enough, I'm gonna strain it off into another jar. I'm gonna take this extra and either feed it to my chickens or compost it. I don't wanna waste this stuff because it's really good. And then now depending on how long you let this steep, you can either add honey and milk to it right now, it might be hot enough, or you can just heat it up on the stove again and then add the stuff that you want. And that's how you make mother's milk tea. I have here the rest of the stuff that we made earlier and you can just store this in a mason jar and it'll last for a really long time as long as it stays dry. And this is just such a delicious recipe. It's actually so yummy that it's not hard to drink it every day. This is by far the best way I've found and I love drinking hot drinks all the time, even during the summer. I'm a hot drink girl, so this is one of my favorite drinks besides coffee, of course. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is helpful for you if you're looking for ways to boost your milk supply naturally. I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday and I will see you next time. Bye.